Hi everyone, we are going to talk about toxoplasmosis today. I am going to first start off by talking about how toxoplasma presents as a congenital infection. Uh, it presents as a triad of hydrocephalus, chorioretinitis and intracranial calcifications. And the way I remember this is I draw out the starting letters of toxoplasma just like that and then I connect the T and the P and once you connect them it looks like a head and um, the head looks kind of elongated which reminds you of hydrocephalus because usually uh, the fontanels are not closed in babies and that's why they have a huge head that is a presenting sign of hydrocephalus. The eyes remind you of chorioretinitis and you can draw small tiny hair of the baby for intracranial calcifications. Now we are going to talk about how they are present in adults. The, uh, after T-O-X-O-P comes L and L is for lymph adenitis and this is usually seen in pregnant women who are infected with toxoplasmosis. Then comes M and if you kind of draw an M it looks like cat ears because I don't know um, cats do have those pointy ears and they look like an M and this will help you remember that toxoplasmosis is transmitted by cat feces or cyst in meat but this is usually in adults and this is why they say that pregnant women should avoid cats because they might get transmitted they might get infected with toxoplasmosis however in children you must remember that it is the placental transmission it might present late like one month after birth and usually they ask this in questions that how did the baby get the infection and you know one month you kind of start thinking about cat feces again but it's it might present late so it is usually transplacental infection um, in HIV positive patients it presents as ring enhancing lesions on scans and um, and this is a CT scan that is a ring enhancing lesion there may be multiple ring enhancing lesions as well and your differentials might include neurocysticercosis but mostly in HIV patients you want to think of toxoplasma infection that's when CD4 counts drop like less than 50 and you give prophylaxis for toxoplasma infection to HIV positive patients by TMP SMX. Sometimes patient, HIV positive patients do not get better with TMP SMX and that's when you think of an Epstein-Barr lymphoma as a differential of ring enhancing lesions on the CT scan. So let's revise. We drew the toxo for remembering the classic triad of hydrocephalus, chorioretinitis and intracranial calcification in children, in pregnant females, lymph adenitis may be the only symptom and for transmission we said that congenital uh, for neonates it may be uh, it is transplacentally transmitted however in adults it can be cat feces or cyst in meat in HIV positive patients, your differentials will include neurocysticercosis for multiple ring enhancing lesions and 
and Epstein bowel lymphoma if the patient does not get better on TMP SMX. I thought of adding a mnemonic on TMP SMX since we are talking about it. And um, you know, people say um, this mnemonic uh, I got online and it treats marrow poorly. The other way of remembering TMP SMX is that the infections they prevent and that is toxoplasma and um, pneumocystis. So this is predominantly in HIV positive patients and it is used prophylactically. Um, that's all I guess. Hope you had fun learning with me and stay awesome